Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This episode number 490, you have done a few of these, and the topic today is qualities of a conscious man. Ladies, you might want to watch this, listen to it, and get some ideas. Um, this is triggered by some events, and I'll get to that in a moment. But before I do that, let me introduce myself and tell you who I am, what I do, what I do, and what it's all about. My name, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find and attract balance. Sorry, find and create balance in life, love, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And in my work, I've been doing these Facebook Lives now for a year and several months, because this is number episode, actually it's called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart, the formal title. And this is episode number 480, as I mentioned, and the topic today, as said, is what the qualities of a conscious man. And for those of you, those of you wondering why this is a replay, because you thought it'd be live at 5 p.m., is because I did say a little bit earlier, I'm doing this at 4 p.m. today. This is a live broadcast on Facebook Live, and I'll tell you where to find it on YouTube and podcast afterwards. Um, because I have a web webinar coming up at 5 p.m., which I'll also mention at the back end. But that's after I'm talking about this. So, um, qualities of a conscious man. And I'm using the word conscious because using awakened sounds too ethereal, um, evolved sounds too derogatory to other people. I'm using conscious because, frankly, when men wake up, they can be conscious. And this is in response, reaction, and counterpoint to some events that have been unfolding on the media today. Um, and also because I saw a woman post, a dear friend of mine posted, and some other friends post that same link out there about where are all conscious men. And I want, to, I want to explain, define what I believe, again, what I believe, may not be the truth, but what I believe about conscious men, that would be attributable, or qualities that would be attributable to that, so that ladies, when you're out meeting men, you know what to look for. Yes, I'm here to help, all part of the service. <laughs> so qualities of conscious men. Um, God, there's so many to choose from. Let's start with a couple. Two that I want to start with are, this one is, um, well, yes, start with one. First one is the ability to listen. I talked about this a while back. Um, actually, no, I did one called Men Listen Up on Monday, I think that was. It was about four or five broadcasts built before, ago where I talked about Men Listen Up. And one of the biggest things is a conscious man knows how to listen rather than talk, talk, talk. So in conversation, especially with a woman, someone he loves or respects or is going through some challenge, he has the understanding, the wisdom, the awakening and the consciousness to go, I should better shut up, let me listen, that'd be good. So that's a quality I recommend highly as a first step for a lot of men, is he bit to listen. Now, as soon as I said that, the immediate response that came up inside of me was, if you're on a date with a man, you do want a man who's gonna talk about himself a little bit. So men watching this, it doesn't give you an excuse to say nothing and let the woman talk all the time. Listening is an active skill. Being quiet is something else. <laughs> so if you're out on a date, it's quite um, invited, permissible, and required almost to speak up. So men, if you're on a date, it's not, not, you're not supposed to shut up. But if you're listening to a woman, who's in, especially when she's challenged, being able to listen consciously, with care, with compassion, with love, is a skill of a conscious man. The second one I was going to bring up right away, because they're both vying for attention, is um, hmm. a conscious man knows when he's wrong and owns up to it. This is also because of what I saw today in the media, and I'm realizing more and more that there are so many men who don't get this. The um, ego programmed macho mindset is always got to be right and can never be wrong. And in fact, there's a violation of the ego if we admit that we're wrong. But you say, conscious man is not attached to the ego. A conscious man actually has the ability to go, you know what, I screwed up. I'm going to I'm gonna, um, ask for forgiveness. I'm going to forgive myself because self-forgiveness is another key. And do things differently. Because it's tempting to, to um, paint people with a brush of their past. Well, that's a pretty good one. Um, I'll try that one again. Uh, <laughs> it's tempting sometimes to paint people with the brush of the past, meaning that you look at them now with the behavior you knew about them 10 years ago and you don't give them room to change. Now, I've, I've been guilty of this myself, so I'm speaking inclusively, not exclusively about this. And having the ability to be um, accepting of making, thing, of making mistakes 
in the sense that it's okay if you if you're wrong, so now you've got to clean it up. That's part of being being a conscious man. It's true of a conscious woman too. Um, I'm just going to see if how many of these apply to both, but I'm speaking about conscious men right now. Let's stick to that one. The third one is was vying at the beginning. Now, if it just come back to me, I'm, I'm putting a few of these out there. Um, another quality of a conscious man is that he know he he knows he's not the center of attention. Sorry, guys, those of you who like being the center of attention, a conscious man knows there's more to life than himself. In fact, he has more of an embracing and, in, and encompassing view of the world that, re- that makes him realize he's part of something bigger, which actually is very inspiring for me because it knows that I'm not alone in this. Um, being a champion for love and relationships that I am, I'm very grateful that other people are doing the same thing. If I was on my own doing this, I'd be really nervous because that would be all on my plate and like too much. So knowing that I'm not alone, knowing that I have other people to um, rely upon but also be part of a team with, is a very um, humbling but also hu- uh, also um, rewarding experience. So knowing that um, we're not the only thing happening is a big part of being conscious. So that's three things. Number four. Hmm, number four. There's a few others circling around. I've got to see which one lands quickly or, or decidedly. Um, this one's tied to number one, which is about being able to listen. Number four is being able to, willing to see both sides of the argument. Because it's tempting, especially in this current day, to take sides, to be very um, righteously objective that what you think, what you're saying is the right thing. And I've definitely had a few times recently where I've had to go, I need to shut up now and listen because I think there's more going on than I can think of and I don't know know about. And to be frankly, to to see both sides of the conversation, the perspective, is very useful to get more information. One, because it gives you more of an inclusive view. And secondly, you might realize you may not be right after all, which goes back to number two. So these all tie together, you may notice. So that's number four. Number five. Number five is right at the beginning. It came up the other two and it, it walked away. Let me get, bring it back in again. What is it of a conscious man? Well, <laughs> oh, this one's a big one. What is it of a conscious man? He respects women. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> the, the Facebook I live edited yesterday um, about dick pics and other stuff like that is showing what an unconscious man is about. A conscious man doesn't do that sort of crap. A conscious man respects women, which means, as well as listening to them, as I mentioned earlier, he also is one that has a reverence for the feminine and also is willing to um, see women as equals. Now, a lot of men are like going, no freaking way am I doing that. And I understand you may feel that way. But what's coming, as I mentioned, I mentioned a few days ago, actually, and I'm tying all my Facebook lives together, about the sea change that's coming, if you don't get on board, you're going to drown. So men who are watching this, take these to heart. These qualities, these values will be really useful to you going forward. Definitely. All right, number six. This one ties into gentlemanly conduct because a lot of what is essential in gentlemanly conduct is part of being a conscious man. Yes, there are people who are gentlemen who are asleep at the wheel. That's true. But generally when a man is willing to accommodate a woman by opening the door for her, helping her with the coat, getting up when she gets out of a chair, helping with her seat, all these different things are things that indicate a man at least is awake and aware enough of a woman to actually respond to her the right way. Because there are many men out there who are oblivious when it comes to gentlemanly conduct. So I'm going to leave that as, as number six, but it's, it's almost an optional one because it doesn't... There are people who are gentle, there are men who are gentlemen who aren't conscious. But if you're a man, you're a conscious man, you will be, you will be a gentleman. That kind of goes the other, so it's one way, that makes sense. Right, so number six. Number seven. Number seven. Actually, it was number seven. That way around it. You got the picture. Um, there was another one that came up recently. Oh, yes. Number seven. A conscious man 
doesn't attack other people. I was to say another way, but I'm realizing I can't say it that way because the thing is, a right a conscious man will can get angry. That's part of the spectrum of availability, but it's out of um, expression of need to express versus putting someone else down or attacking other people. So a conscious man doesn't attack other people. And if you've been watching the news, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. All right. So that's number seven. Number eight. Whichever way you put it. Eight. Let's see if there's any more. There's a few more in here. I know. Just letting them percolate. So bear with me. Bear with me for a second. Um, once I'm thinking of that, I am being a little distracted because in basically 45 minutes, I'll be doing my first ever webinar. Yes, I'm leading a webinar. Ooh, exciting. Um, it's taught. It's, t it's titled the Golden Key to Relationships. Really, what it's talking about is the way that love works, and I've got an offering I'm going to talk about in the webinar that will blow you away. There's a teaser, isn't it? <laughs> if you want to join in that webinar, the link I'll just give you to now so you can check it out is, my, is on my website, which is barryselby.com. You can't see it from the website if you actually go through the link, which is barryselby.com forward slash LB as in boy, H as in Harry, webinar. You can sign up there. Um, on top of that, let's see what else there is. Whoops. I just tap something I shouldn't have tapped. Okay, start again. Um, so that was number. Was that? that was number eight. So number n no. It's, this is number eight. I'm getting into right. Okay, number eight. Getting back on track. Um, a conscious man is inclusive. There's a cultural shift that's happening, and also a belief structure about how the masculine works. It's been talked about how the masculine energy is very penetrating. It's pointed, it's penetrating, it's the way the masculine energy works. The feminine energy is more inclusive and embracing. But I'm talking about how, as a conscious man, we can be more inclusive and more aware because there's so much separation and againstness being created by various cultures. It's very easy to fall into that trap as being a blind sheep following what's going on. And I'm very much about waking people up so that we can say, you know what? Differences aren't different. The color of your skin, your religious beliefs, your sexual preferences, your gender doesn't make you separate, it makes you different. And embracing differences, accepting differences is part of being a conscious man and a conscious woman, say that way too. So that's number eight. Number nine, sorry, I've got on the camera, number nine, there we go. Um, <coughs> excuse me, there are several actually, so I'm just seeing if there's any more coming up right now. Um, number number nine. I had a bunch running through my head right before this. Oh yes, <laughs> this is a part two of something I said earlier, which I was talking about yesterday. Is a conscious man doesn't send dick pics. Dick pics. Let me be clear about that. A conscious man has decorum, has respect for himself, has respect for women. Covering a few points I've already covered. But come on, guys, sending dick pics really? If you've got such a big one, you're so excited, get into the freaking porn industry. If you don't, why boast about it? Find the one that matches you. Find the woman that matches you, but don't do it that way. That was an interesting... That was like a 15-year teaching in like three minutes, three seconds. I hope you use that, use that one. That was number nine. Uh, moving on to number ten. Number ten. Um, what's that one going to be about? Number ten. Huh, excuse me. I didn't get through that one. Ah. A conscious man is always learning. Hang on a second, I'm gonna chuck and cuff again. Hold the thought, I'll be right back. Okay. Water, agua. So again, a conscious man is always learning, number 10. Meaning that we are on a journey that's always about growing and becoming more of who we are and learning how to be that way. And so I would say that for many of us, we may stop learning after we get out of college. But my experience has been, as I've been on the personal growth in this journey for the last 30 plus years, we're always learning. So a conscious man is always learning because there's more to learn. Lifelong student is kind of part of the game. Number 11, a throwaway. A conscious man <laughs> can wear pink. <laughs> There's so much. Um, it's more of the old, old ego, ego-driven machismo 
talks about how you know men can't wear certain colors and do certain things there's things that we can do I'm gonna speak personally for a second where I wouldn't do that before in terms of like clothing ideas you know I used to have very straight laced um, clothing you know I had a couple of pairs of shoes and that was it and frankly I've discovered more and more how I love having some pretty cool dress shoes as well as having a range of dress shirts including pink ones now that's a very selfish thing to say I know it's my, my experience but I believe a conscious man can include that in his spectrum his availability to actually see things differently and not be so fixated like you know right straight men don't wear pink that was one of those old lines about you know pink was gay or something well it ain't it's the color of our skin for most for a lot of us so get over that <laughs> all right that was the throwaway line in a way that was number 11 11 yes I think I'm running out of things because that was a silly one. Let's see if there's anything that's, that's waiting to drop in that's more impactful. Qualities of a conscious man. Um, here we go. Number 12. Let me give you a bit more, number 12, which is this and this. <laughs> That'll be more impactful, I believe. A conscious man knows how to love himself. And I mean that literally applying the loving from his heart to who he is accepting himself, forgiving himself, appreciating himself, standing in his truth, be willing to stand up for what he believes in, and does it from a place of wholeness. A conscious man knows how to love himself, which is a starting point to radiate love to everything else. I'm already starting to plan ahead for my talk tonight, so that's, in the, that's gonna be in the webinar, I think. But that's part of a conscious man. A lot of the work we do is to become more humble to who we are, respectful who we are, and stand in that truth. I know for the last few years, especially for around women I know and trust me, they feel that self-respect, self-love in me, which means they can rely upon it and trust it. There's two more. <laughs> Quality number, that was 12, 13. I'm not gonna do the fingers anymore, ring not fingers or toes. Um, the, the conscious man Damn, it went out of my head. <laughs> I, I don't have scripts, that's the thing. If you haven't seen my broadcast, broadcast before, I do these live talks every day with any script, any plan, and sometimes they disappear. It may but come back before I f sign off. Okay, let me do a sidetrack to wrap things up, and then if it comes back, great, I'll talk about it. Um, I had them right there, right there. So as I meant, said at the beginning, I do my Facebook Live, or do my broadcast on Facebook Live first, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but tonight I've got a webinar at 5 o'clock, so I won't be doing it then, so I'm doing it earlier at 4 p.m. This is also going to be on my business page on Facebook after I finish recording it because that's where I can keep them all in one place. So if you want to watch my replays, you go to barryselby.author on Facebook. They also go onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, um, is, the, is the username and the, play, and the channel, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And then that's the same name, by the way, as my podcast. And by the way, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can subscribe to my podcast channel, which is, uh, or podcast on iTunes, which is Messages from the Masculine. You can uh, subscribe and download from them, download to them then. Download them from there then. Try to see that one clearly. So that's that piece of information. Um, what was the other one? It went away and it came back. I've been scattered today. I've been, so, I've been busy writing code and creating new pages and, and on my website and then putting together a webinar tonight. So I've been a little bit distracted. And that's the truth. Um, there's one more piece in there though. I wanted to get it get it through that would be number 14 no it'd be number 13 didn't get number 13 out I was talking about boy there's nobody watching there's nobody like live on screen right now to watch to give me feedback and remind what it was I said I guess I'll have to go without okay um it seems to disappear say la vie. I appreciate being with me um, if it comes back I'll put it in the comments afterwards there's probably about 25 of them just nestled back there they haven't popped in yet with that I guess I'll have to leave it as be again the link to the webinar if you want to join me tonight is barryselby.com forward slash lbh webinar um, I'll put the link in the comments as well although you have to join pretty quickly there will be a replay by the way so if you do sign up late there will be a replay for it as well um, I'm back in tomorrow with a regular daily Facebook Live at W number 491, and that's um, at 5 p.m. Pacific time, the usual time. 
and uh, I think that's it I think that is it no more come through so if you've got any ideas as well if you want to add to the list of things that a conscious man would do please put in the comments below I appreciate that um, as always thanks for watching thanks for being with me I will see you again tomorrow for my usual time take care of yourselves